Obviously, we don't accept everything Dr. Ali Shariati uh, mentions in his books, and he has some views that are against the, the mainstream and what we believe in, uh, or our aqidah, especially when it comes to the Prophet Sallallahu but also you'll find some beneficial things in his book. Aren't there some of his books which are not allowed to read? Uh, not allowed to read? If, if, someone, if, if someone is going to uh, become misguided from reading, yes, it becomes haram to read any book of misguidance. But if someone is strong in his beliefs, there's no problem to read any book, right? There's no problem. And I don't personally believe in um, what, we, what I call intellectual terrorism. You can't just uh, issue a statement against a scholar that you disagree with and say you, you're not allowed to read his books. Why? Yes, again, if someone is simple, doesn't have the knowledge, yes, you, t you tell him don't waste your time and go through the headache. But if someone wants to read, wants to look at different views, what's the problem in that? So I personally don't find a problem if people want to read for Dr. Ali Shariati, because as I said, some of his books are very beneficial, although we don't agree with everything mentioned in, in, in there. So you accept what goes with the mainstream, and you reject the things that go against the, the mainstream. If you're not on this level, then don't waste your time or go through this headache.